Hi, I'm Tim Williams from Batesville Products, and I'll be handling your project. But before we take a look at your specific permanent mold casting, let's give you a tour. We are a full service manufacturer located in southeastern Indiana, and we specialize in permanent mold aluminum castings. We're one of the few foundries in the United States that can pour zinc and aluminum in the permanent mold process. The company has been in business over 65 years. Permanent mold is the process of pouring molten aluminum into a steel mold. That's the basic process. I am Tim Weber from Batesville Products, and we are experts in aluminum castings. What's great about working with us is we give you a finished part. We design, we tool, we pour, we machine, and we finish. So Batesville Products' sweet spot is a moderate volume part, medium size, not over 100 pounds, not less than a pound, a lot of complication to it, a lot of geometry, a lot of secondaries. In a permanent mold casting versus a sand casting, a lot of times is your quality of finish, your repeatability of a very good casting, your solidification of a product and not really getting that porosity inside that casting. We're really creating a dense casting. It's a precision casting where you can hold tighter tolerances, get nicer surface finishes, and get repeatability. A lot of people hear permanent mold and expect costly molds. When you're looking compared to die casting, we can be a fifth of the typical price of a die casting mold. Permanent mold casting is closer to the die casting surface finish, but you're getting a lot closer to a sand casting cost. People want that denser casting so that they're not having those air pockets when they go into machining, or if they need some pressure tight vessels, or if we're looking at you know food quality, medical grade equipment, permanent mold casting becomes a very reliable source for that. We have a complete machine shop. It's, it's state of the art. It's as, it's as nice equipment as any machine shop in the country. We do all the secondaries as far as the polishing, powder coating, all the add-ons, and we do that all from one source. Our primary ingot is aluminum A356. We do have capability to heat treat to a T5, a T6, a T61, or a T7. Additionally, we do cast some zinc product here as well. We use alloys such as ZA5 and ZA12. Uh, you'd use zinc if you were in a situation where you needed to add weight or surface finish. The reality is we're all about the metrics. We measure everything. Uh, we measure the efficiencies, we measure the mold temperature, we measure the tilt times, the dwell times, we check the alloys, it comes in certified, we certify the heat treat. There's a ton of science to permanent mold. Quality's a 10. I mean, quality's built into our process and we control it too as a verification. We do a lot up front with the FEAs. An FEA is a finite element analysis. It's a computer generated program that's going to tell us up front how the part's going to pour. So we're going to look for turbulence, we're going to look for fill, because remember, as the metal's going in, air's got to evacuate out. What most people don't know is permanent mold castings actually solidify from the inside out and from the bottom up. Are we going to have some hot spots, some isolated thick sections? But also look at the casting and any air pockets, porosity, and things that we can design out. So those are the things that we do ongoing. That's part of our everyday process. And we're so into this that we can monitor some of this remotely. I can sit at my coffee table in the morning and see if certain machines are running, and I can call in and find out why aren't they running. We have over 100,000 square feet of manufacturing capabilities. We have new robotic technologies we're implementing right now as well. So this is where it all happens. This is where the castings are started. So we're standing right now in, in our 50,000 square foot foundry. Well, we have standard tilt pour presses, we have static presses, and we have uh, reverse tilt pour presses. Stationary to the floor or movable for in-process changes. 36 different versions. We've got polishing, we've got trimming, and we've got engineering upstairs. My job is to keep our team happy. Caster that's happy, or a machinist that's happy, or a polisher that's happy and safe in their work, they produce better product for the customer. This 50,000 square foot machine shop is dedicated to just machining our castings. There are bigger machine shops, but there are none that are better equipped than us. But here's the thing, we're a foundry. We're dedicated to just machining our casting. Permanent mold casting uses a gravity-fed process. What makes us unique here at Batesville Aluminum Castings is we use three types of pouring methods. We have a static standard, that's an old tradition. We have tilt pour and we have reverse tilt pour. We're one of the few foundries in the United States that do all three in-house. Tilt pour is pretty easy to understand. Basically, it's like pouring a beer down the side of the glass. You get less turbulence, you get less head. Take a beer, pour it down the center of the glass. We all know you get that turbulence, you get that big head of foam. 
Uh, the more turbulence you get, the more air pockets are created. You don't want that in your casting because that is gas, that's porosity. And you don't get as dense or as hard of a part. And it causes you problems in powder coating or finishing. It makes machining a lot more difficult. It's going to make the part weaker. It's going to make failures. But with the three methods, we can point out which way we want to go. So one of the cool things we can do in permanent mold that they can't do in other casting methods is actually cast in an insert. This part is put into the mold like this, like this. The metal is poured in, it encapsulates the entire element, so you have one-to-one -one contact with the aluminum casting and the element. So you don't even see it, it's encapsulated. So picture this piece on a 72-inch fan on a locomotive. And the customer came to us with issues that they were having with hairline cracks down at the bottom of the base here. So this was originally being cast using a sand casting process. Part of the issue that the customer was having was they were casting it from the tip. What Batesville Products did was flip it upside down, have the metal feed through the thick section, really eliminating the turbulence that they were seeing in this area, creating the hairline cracks. We have a utility box. We redesigned it and we made it unique. This was tooled, molded, and cast in our facility. And then this was sent off to Craddock Finishing to be coated. This was a unique project because this was an off-the-shelf box. We designed it when we made it their own, and now they branded it and it's theirs. So not only do we do it for cooling elements, we do it in lighting where they want to have a passage. So when the guy's on top of a pole, they can actually make sure that the hole's clear and can pass the wires through. So we're casting a tube into a casting like a conduit. Where we really excel is at conversions. In fact, you might be making something out of sheet metal that should be a permanent mold aluminum casting. Here's an example of when a company was manufacturing 12 different parts and they brought it to us and we made it one casting. This part had a dozen pieces that were welded together, a lot of machining, a lot of complex things going on here. We made it a one-piece casting. It's a casting that is machined in-house and replaces 12 fabricated welded parts. And the amazing part is we took out 75% of the cost on this part. What we gave them was better delivery, lower cost, and structural integrity. We ended up with one really happy customer. There are, there are a lot of times where we have customers or prospects come to us with gray iron, steel castings that they're looking to reduce some weight. So a lot of times we may convert those products into aluminum castings and really work with that customer or prospect to develop that. This part was a fabrication, they welded it, and then they machined the parts individually. We cast it as one piece, made it structurally sound, and we do all the secondaries at our other facility. This is all done on a four axis CNC horizontal mill. This is much cheaper, much more efficient. So this is an interesting part. It's a structural part that was never cast, it was always fabricated. We made a one-piece casting, it's a lot cheaper, too, it's more structurally sound. And a one-piece casting like this out of a permanent mold is repeatable, it's getting the same thing over and over again. A lot of people ask me, how do you choose a good foundry? And the first three things I would look at would be the financial stability of the company, how long has the company been around, and are they used current technology? You need to ask yourself, do they do a lot of automotive? Because you want to make sure they have time to spend on your castings. So if you have an aluminum casting question, come see us first. So what I'll help you do is really understand where your product fits and what process your product fits in. Whether it's die casting, sand casting, permanent mold or investment casting, we're the experts. We do castings 24 hours a day, six days a week. We'll look at your drawings, we'll look at your models, and we'll tell you, yeah, that's a good part for us, or no, that might be better as another process altogether, and we might even recommend somebody, but we'll let us help you. We are experts in aluminum castings.